Right, welcome back to the museum series. This is based on the map by uh, Darren Castle, who has, and the good news is he has just, well, just released, by the time you see it, it be about two or three weeks ago, he has released the museum edition, which basically it means that uh, what you see here is near enough what you get on. Oh, I meant to just show you one thing, so I'm just going to leave that ticking over there. Um, yes, yeah, so, which means you've got the people walking about in the museum, which makes, makes it very much more alive. And he's a couple other things I think he's added. Um, I can't remember it now, but there's certainly you now have got the museum, but you have got the hedge here. I've finally got around to removing the other piece of hedge. And as you can see now, if you squat down, which is about equivalent to sitting, you can see most of this area. Now, as I said before, I'm not going to do any more planting now until late spring. If not, everything will be ready together. And I don't really want that. So we're going to do a bit of hay making today. So for that, I've got the John Deere combination. Of the old Model A and the John Deere 37. And we're going to take it from this end. I'm not going to do... a a massive amount, I'm just going to do enough so we, we can make a few bales and use both bales. Once we've got it tethered and raked, of course. Oh, we just. And we should be away with it now. Let's have a go. Yeah, yeah, we're away with it. We'll just do this top end. Um, I'm going to let the grass grow a bit more before we do any more. Uh, right, we come across the boat here. Try and stick, keep somewhere near parallel. Now we're actually going to put over some of this grassland for camping. We're going to allow camping on site. It actually to do with the the owner of the museum, he decided, we, why not let them, people stay here overnight, if they wish, or even for a week or two at a time. It does two or three things, it helps the local tourist industry, because it keeps more people in who can't afford the hotel bills, or, or the motel bills, which, well, frankly, are not that expensive, but uh, it can, can make the difference. And some people, of course, like camping, I'm not too certain. Americans are about ordinary under canvas camping, but it's what it be. It won't be in caravan. So, most probably one part of this uh, grass area will be designated for camping. In between times, I will cut it and uh, mow it. And, of course, I cut it. I will be mowing it and looking at it generally as you as you would normally. But, uh, Come round here, we should be almost all the way around there. Whoa, whoa. that do. Could really do as a weight on the front of these. One thing you notice with a lot of this old equipment, that's very nose like, especially when you've got equipment aboard. Now, I think we turned here somewhere, didn't we? Yeah, there we are. So I'm just going to do this area here. So we cut it with this. I'll I might use the forward uh, three-point tack cutter at some stage. Works exactly the same as this. I even get in the messy um, grass mower, you know, the self-drive one. It's quite good fun. That. Depends who gives the stuff, of course. I'm not certain if, I, if we've got a tether on board yet. I haven't really been looking around to see what's what. As you see, it's covered a nice day today, a bit overcast, but the, you know, the sun is showing itself. Again, I'd like to thank Darren for the work he's done on this map. And if my experience was anything to go by, because I don't know what else he's altered, uh, but when I changed over to this map with the uh, people walking about here, it was just a straightforward swap over job. Nothing much else to do. 
So it's not like you're going to lose everything. But if you should do it, I would make a save of your save game, make a copy of your save game somewhere, just in case. This shouldn't take too long to cut this actually. And we're just uh, tear it, break it. I should have some hay bobs about somewhere, whether they've got hair or not yet, or if I've got to pick them up from or get them delivered. Oh god, that means Stu, he's doing the deliveries, he's volunteered for it. Uh, if we're going to have him delivering, I really must remember to open the barriers up. As for getting rid of the hay, we, we've got nothing much use in hay. It was decided early on we wouldn't be doing animals over this side. It, it means we've got to have someone here actually with farming experience and livestock experience all the time. I wouldn't, I'm wouldn't. i not happy about leaving livestock in the hands of amateurs. Hello, there's some of our volunteers, there's no other way around animals. There's quite a few ex-farmers actually who's joined us. Uh, the old boys especially are fascinating to listen to. They can tell you some very strange tales about when they were farming full time. We have a bit further two who are, who are now a bit too old and proud to actually work on the farm and to help out physically the museum. But we've got them recording uh, interviews and their rem remembrances uh, and we're putting those out on disc for you know, people want to buy them anything to give us money now I think we also I think I told you before that the crops from here well the potatoes when we get our first lot of potatoes we will take what we will need for uh, seeding next year and for what we need for the uh, museum itself, for the uh, cafeteria in the museum, or I prefer to go to a restaurant, because uh, we're trying to go above just being a calf. And to that end, we've actually had, we're going to be doing fries, and we are going to do British chips. I miss my chips, I don't, I don't mind the American very thin fries, but I prefer the full body British chip so we're we've got a chip machine on its way from Britain which will go into the canteen and we will be you will have a choice in of fries now it used to be called French fries but I'm not certain if they're now called freedom fries I, I can't quite get to the bottom of it depends who I talk to whether a Democrat or a Republican I think uh, but for what they call them, uh, Republicans tend to seem to be to call them freedom fries, Democrats, French fries, but uh, I don't really want to get into the uh, politi politics of a foreign, to me, foreign country. Therein lays madness, and I'm mad enough already. We're also going to be... Uh, try I'm trying to source some cod. So we can do the British fish and chips. Uh, what for for the typical British it was the original fast food. I'll, I'll cook. Uh, well, we're importing actually a chef, no, or actually a fish fryer. Someone from Britain of Turkish origin to be precise but he's been keeping fish chip shops around Britain he's got half a dozen I think now and he's decided he wants to have a, a rest from running the business so he's given the business to his children and he's coming over here and he's going to become our uh, prior Nice chap, I've met him several times, but uh, Yusuf, his name, he's a very nice chap indeed. And uh, yes, he's volunteered for the t 
task I am not going to look a gift horse in the mouth so to speak well it's safer looking gift horse in the mouth and looking at a gift lion in the mouth uh, yes well sorry bad bad simile bad joke why isn't we getting there What I may do is actually just end here somewhere. I think we, I think we start going up and down here. We've got enough here now. Lower with this, you shouldn't really go up and down things, though, because uh, you don't really want to be uh, flattening and, and destroying the grass you're about to mow. So you notice a lot of the old stuff goes round and round. We it doesn't do up and down much. I've kept the uh, frame counter going today just so we can see how it's looking. It's not looking too bad. Remember, in this area I've got a hell of a lot of equipment. I haven't finished yet. So although it shows it's only doing about, uh, well down to 30 there, but 30 is fine. I normally I find if I can keep it much above 20, 20, 25, it's smooth enough. But we but those a lot of the bits here, the trees that could all add to the strain on my poor old processor. Oh and talking of processors and that, uh, you may have heard and both of you see I should imagine we will will have reached the target for bullet bill. Bullet bill uh, now you all know bullet, bullet bill. If you have played farming sim you know of bullet, bullet bill. One of men behind Frontier Design. He has been modding and map making for years. He makes very good maps. I don't use them or don't showcase them because everybody else does and I think and I pref I love Bullet Bill's stuff but I also like to think that other people can get a look in because the trouble when Bullet Bill there's a new map rightly just for every major YouTuber and Twitcher gets on board straight away <laughs> which is why you don't see many, many bullet bills on my channel but I prefer to use stuff that uh, is not quite so well known but it's equally as good but bullet bill had a catastrophe with his elderly PC it burnt out on him took the motherboard which as I think Duck was saying, uh, Duck Zorley this is, who's fronting the campaign for Bill. And Bill doesn't want, didn't want this done. But there uh, you know us. Same as I was with BP, we don't take no for an answer. We don't tell them until it's too late. Well, Bullet Bill's PC was about 10 years old. No, is that should said it warning signals that uh, he's got to want a whole new PC it's not just a case of replacing the motherboard the whole thing so we a whole load of YouTubers got together and I'll come in late onto this um, I'm just mentioning it now and PCSG has come aboard to try and make certain he, he can have a flaming good PC he deserves it I think you all must admit that what, his maps are brilliant. And he's been making those with, up, with old equipment. Just think what he can do for 19 with a brand new state-of-the-art PC. Or close to. Mind you, come to think of it. A five-year-old machine for Bill at the moment would seem like state-of-the-art. He's a nice fella. He, uh, he helps. He's another one of those guys who will help. He's a map maker. Before you don't take advantage of him, and you always credit when you use his stuff, and rightly so. He's perfectly happy for people to use it. He's not quite the key on people who actually monetize through his equipment, and I can understand that. As Bill doesn't charge. In fact, he, uh, he does stuff for uh, charity. Some of the stuff it's on. Uh, mod hub, which you know you get paid a small amount for mod hub, depend on 
I've got ratings and downloads. You get paid a small amount by giants. Some of the stuff on there has been what's done for charity. Anyway, that's enough on Bill. Just so if you can have a look at PCSG, you'll find the link in there. I think it's in the articles. Uh, Duck Sawley has uh, written a nice little bit about it, what he's trying to do. How much we get? But we're not going to say actually how much we get. I don't think that's right. But we are going to get Bill a new PC. Sounds to be done for BP, who also didn't want it done for him. I know BP is now retired, but I don't care. I would have done that every time. Someone who deserves it. And I think you agree that Bill is a, is a worthwhile case. He's, he's not too well. And we said we have helped a few people out. I'm not going to mention names because I still think they want that band about too much. Who else has been helped? But, uh, but with that, just bear it in mind. Anyway, let's get back to this one. We're just about uh, just been done with it. That I could use. Uh, no, I can't. Show. Ah, uh, not shown that. Right. I was trying to use the uh, new mini map just to show where how far we got. We're not certain if it does or not. Should do. Let's just stop for one moment and just go into the map here and just fiddle with something on here. Uh, main. Ah, because I haven't got grass ticked, that's why. For me, I wish they would uh, that's better. We can see where we've been then. No, wouldn't that? No, oh, well, I was on. We got it on the wrong one anyway. Let's just take that. Out. That's, that's better. We can see now where we've been. For me, I wish they'd have kept it so that the. Uh, Grass was ticked all the time. You unticked it when you didn't want it, but that's just me. I I always have to go in and tick the grass every time I load in a map. <laughs> they tend to use a lot of grass, and with this mini map, it's handy to see where you've been. You can actually see where we have actually fertilised. That's actually what I want to want. Um, hold on, let's get the right one. That's the what I want. Now we can see where we've been. The purple is where it's been mown and the yellow is to be mown as you can see we're almost here bits are missed but if I was doing this properly I'd actually do it with the a former GPS but I'm not going to do that it's not very realistic on this tractor anyway although it's because my story is I've got it on my phone Now I forget what else I was going to talk about today. <laughs> I had a whole load of subjects, as I normally do. Yeah, so um, let's get back to this map. Darren has released the. Uh, it's the same map now as he's got. Same map as I'm using, except because the I don't think he dropped the hedge. Uh, I dropped the hedge, but that was purely for the game element. But it does make this museum alive. It's the booty of this map. It's another one of those maps which is not a big map. It's a standard size map, but it looks big. Darren has done a wonderful job in making this seem huge. And I will say, uh, another one of my favourite mappers, Cavalier Roy has the same knack with his uh, newbie series. It's only a standard size map, but it looks big. Money for all the little dirt tracks he's put in. And I'll oh, get back to this map again. This is a map of worthwhile exploring everywhere. You don't know what you're going to find. I've shown some things, but I'm not going to show everything. 
We'll leave things for Pittle to find. I think we're just about done here now. Should really be lifting this sickle mar. Hell, if you don't tell, I won't. As you can see, we're almost there now. Now we've got to see now if we've got, a, if we've got the hay bob here, or if we haven't got it yet. I think we've got one more pass and that will be good enough. I bet about this uh, Mara Wine, one of those horrible Maras, or horrible bits of equipment that don't like reversing. So, to that end, that can go in over here. So I mow all this grass, but that can't be fertilised, I don't think. This is uh, standard uh, grass. Drop that off and I'll switch that off. We get we get something else to uh, do the hay bob. But first, I must check we got one here. If we have already bought one, if so, where the hell is it? I don't look like I got that yet. No, we haven't. So we will go to the shop. I, I hope I put them in there. Uh, Try to remember where it is. It should be under windrowers or tethers. Look under tethers first. Ah, here we are. The high bob. Now one of these is now. The pity this doesn't work. Now, no idea why, but it just won't work anymore. But, oh, we have got one of these somewhere. Here we are. Oh, where is it? <laughs> Alright, in that case, we'll go to the map. Uh, should be a ton of this equipment. That's, yeah, you'll get used to this because I've got so much gear here now. I cannot remember where I put it all. I might have left. Ah, oh, here we are. Now, where is it? Ah, here, yeah, it's in the store. It's in the store somewhere, so um, I'm going to grab another tractor. Oh, what? No, I couldn't see it here, but that uh, should be in here. Oh, I want to just see two. That wants 30. I think the other one wants about the same. No, I've probably gone past it now. Oh, I don't know where it is. That one's, oh, 25. Anything can take that then. And that is the, is it the, that one's 20. Oh, well. Anything we pick up, any tractor we use, can we use by all? I'm not going to use it, not going to use the tractor, Oliver. That, that's a little bit of a pain to drive around. And have a decreasing circles. Oh, I must put this away too. No, I'm not going to use that. Don't need that. Oh, something small and weak. Could use the Model D. Could use that Oliver, but that's a bit powerful for it. Or, oh, let's get this one out again. Let's get the McCormick out. I have got another couple of free tractors to bring in at some stage, but I have to wait for a while. No, let's see. Oh, did we put it down here? Did we? No, that's all right. Wouldn't certainly be the... If we just brought, uh, brought that in. As you can see, by looking the way the steering wheel has gone, I'm keyboarding again. It's easier on this map, actually. When I'm trying to find things all the time. I can't remember what I've done with them. I'm closer to the screen. If you had my eyesight, you'd want to be close to the screen. No, I didn't put it in there. Let's have a look. Make certain I didn't know it's... Corvay, I have a look. So... Plow, Corvay, uh... 
There we are. Hi, Bob. That's the boy. We got it. And oh, that's handy. So we just gonna have to uh, pick. The, I just have to find my right next. Let's just go over there quickly. What we don't get done today, I'll do. I'll finish off next week. It's no great hurry. On most of my uh, my series, I never bother hurry to. I might miss a few bits. Oh, I'm mean, gonna ask this guy. Ah, and here's a three point. Duh. So we put this up. Actually, I'm gonna put this away. Oh, what's some of the three point? Which I fancy driving, which is another problem. Oh wait, wait a minute, we've got, we've got one in there. Well, come back slowly. We've got the, the farm all there, but no, I ain't got a three point either. <laughs> No three point on that. This has got a three point. What is this one? Oh, the old Hurleyman. Right, we'll bring out the Hurleyman. This has more than a par. This is out the uh, the classics pack, uh, not the modern classics, but the old original classic pack, which certainly I first saw on thirteen. Was updated by Giants to fifteen. And now someone has updated it to 17. I th there was one bit of kit he couldn't do, and I can't remember what it was now. And he gave up trying to do it to, so he could release the pack. But this is a lovely pack if you like old equipment. And it all seems to work well too, which is not always the case, shall we say. But we take this out and just do that, just do a bit of grass we've done so I'm not doing big areas certainly not with some equipment here <sighs> it could be a long time I haven't I, I never used this hay Bob so I've got no idea what, it, what it's like how it works so this is going to be a learning curve for all of us well, Probably a lot of you have used it and know exactly how it works. It's just that I, I don't know, I can see where I've been. So we're going to come out of cables which just unfold. With a B in it. No, B to start. Uh, oh, do we have to unfold? No, no, we don't. Turn on. And lower. Oh, well, this looks like it might well. Oh, that's a. I think it might be a bit too low. How about we. Oh, no need to lower it. It works perfectly well up high, so uh, if you get one of these, ignore the fact that it tells you to lower it, it seems to be working perfectly well. I will get a. Uh, Right on here next. I'm going to do the outside first. I'm going to be out of cab to do this. Well, hopefully that has actually turned it to high. Hard to tell. In fact, it looks exactly the same. Let's just drop it and see what happens. I think it should be dropped, but. Oh, of course, no. No, no full wheel on this. Oh, missed a bit. And my bit, this, the guy in this, uh, totally had one or two bits of kit that the uh, three point is set not quite right on either the equipment or the tractor. Well, it's working. Yeah, 
And this could take a little while, it's just let all the crews go a bit quick on that. I hope it ain't still grass. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pick up a by the next just to check if it is still grass. We will have to think again on a tether. So I've got the texture, I may just have to play with the grass textures a bit. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop in there. Turn everything off. Um, go and pick up another track, it doesn't really matter what. I don't think. I'm just going to see what... This is, it looks the same texture as the problem. Up. Oh. oh, we could get in. Um, more agile than I thought. That's me. Oh, that's me, Rake. Um, I wonder what. Now, the John Deere is certainly just a straightforward hitch. Yeah, they're both hitches. Sorry, so it don't matter which. So I'm interested in seeing whether the John Deere still works because there has been fun and games over the years with the John Deere and we only want a hitch ah, oh, only want a hitch, I was going to use this before anyway so a little old Farmall W9 can come out He looks like he's a gunslinger. I also want to try the fire. I have a lot of the stuff out of the classics pack I haven't tried, but I know it worked well in 13 and 15. In 13 I used a lot of it because it, it made good cheap starting equipment. No, well, at least with this mini map now showing what's what, it's going to be easy to find everything, find where we should be. And we come back behind the stand. I think I might have to get a hot dog stall there. We also have to think about making money. Now, oh, I say what happened to all the bits and pieces that. Uh, We're we'll picking up now. We can't have cab to this because I only want to pick up the bits I need to pick up. So I want to unfold first. Yep. Uh, switch on. Lower the pickup. Let's see what we've got here. That's grass. Ah. That's not tedding. No, it's not. We have a grass bar and we don't want a grass bar. Let's read the description on that again. I thought... What? Now they're all near the sign now. That one doesn't work. It doesn't look like these work. Oh, we've got... There we go. We've got a far from the... Classic, well, one of these is from the classic pack and one is made by someone else. I can't remember which is which. I think this one must be from the pack. That's better, better description. Although well, they are actually slightly different numbers. That one's cheapest. Alright, we're going to take this and see if this works. <coughs> I don't want this to turn to bale grass because we can't get rid of grass bales. We'll pick up the other tether because that delivered. Oh, God. 
I'm not going to show uh, the madman coming into the yard. Let's find it in here. Here we are. So the hay bob doesn't seem to want to work properly. Oh, look that. Now what's the better as a free point? I am going to use this W9, you see, it's uh, trying everything to make sure I use it. Uh, no, we're not going to use the W9, that's a, that's a three point, this hasn't got a three point, so I need to find a small tractor with a three point. Oh, we'll park this back at Oliver. It's not a small tractor, but it should have a three point. That's when I've got problems with one or two bits of equipment. The three point isn't quite right. What about this? No, just a hitch. Well, there we go. We'll try this one. Nothing like using the big stuff, is the Now what I'm thinking about doing is put a room or part of this area, or at least make part of this area camping. Uh, because we've got to have room for Stu to bring all his, uh, all the equipment in for us. And he came in and he was quite quiet and I didn't bother to show, you, show him coming in. Alright, let's see what this does now. Back around file, we've come out of cave again so we can see all your unfolds. That's nice unfolding. Turn on. Lower. Now let's hope it, oh. Yes, I think we've got a problem with this track that uh, doesn't like going low enough. That's <laughs> nowhere near low enough. Right. Turn it off. Drop it off. Oh, and this just fell over. Let's see if the other track that we've got with the high bob on will work better. What I might do is... Hold on. I want to try. Hey, you're seeing the, the fun and games we have uh, making videos. I wonder if that's... There's a big attractor that it doesn't like work probably so work on the the hay bob. We'll change these two round and just see if the hay bob also turns and rolls it, but uh, uh, just hope I haven't dropped this over too far. Yeah, and, uh, yeah I made a real mess of that I should came from such a great height that I may not be able to get that on us. Uh, which way is the top on this thing? I'm going to have to, do I have to reset that? <laughs> We'll try on here. We will find something which will work, even if we have to use something from in game for now. We could try the other far, of course, see if there is a difference between them. These are the things which shouldn't happen but do. Oh, before we change that over, I'm just going to hook the Oliver onto the hay bomb and see what that looks like. It may be that that is set too long, let's have a look anyway. That looks like that's a better... That's a better height, this works, this works, but now I might use this. 
not as a tether but to uh, turn that it looks like uh, you've got to be careful the equipment we use on here I'll see that there go and pick up the uh, the hurlyman and uh, yeah, pick that uh, tether up again <laughs> Hey, 40 minute video so far, 20 minutes just trying to find a tether that works. Yes, I know, if I say anybody, all I test all this equipment out before I put you through it, but where's the fun in there? Where's your sense of adventure? So we may get this tether, if this tether works. On this one, we may well get this done. We soon know anyway. If we just hook it up, see how high it goes. If it doesn't, that looks a little bit better. Yeah, that looks like it. Mm. Let's see if this will work. find where this bit of the field is. There was a tractor on one side, but did I move that tractor? Oh no, it's still there. Right, turn it on, power it down, come out of the cab and have a look. Well, get into the uh, tractor. Or is this not tedding properly? It's hard to see the colour actually. If there is a colour change. What I should I do now is can't be on there with the track uh, with the uh biler. Let's see what we're bailing. Look this one. This, this looks as the part anyway. So it looks the same colour as the rest of it, which is a bit worrying. Just stop that. We've been around the outside. Don't suppose. No, farmer's touch doesn't work on this. We may have to play this up and turn this into a proper field. Uh, what seven? Oh, well, onto the uh, biodiversity. That is a John Deere. After all, I was going to use the. I did think about using the Model D actually, so I've got plenty of different equipment out. Can't go too close in because we will be getting high uh, grass bales and they're not what they're looking for. Um, is this folded? No, it's unfolded right out of cab. Let's see what we got this time. Not too worried if we get one grass bale, but it's still shown as grass. That's a bit. That's a bit worrying. Well, you see the system working anyway. It's only grass. So, I mean, I. Headed this all for note.
what I might just do is take some modern equipment we've got the cash which is try a little bit of modern equipment on here see if we can sort of what it is so we've got one barrel done and still making grass right check the barrel it should tell us what we've got now if we grab out yes grass don't want you um, bear with me but I just uh, buy a tether that I know works because a lot of these I haven't tested that's the problem no nothing on the modded side so we'll take someone that isn't modded and it's cheap this what I do Get that delivered. I will look into this and see if I can figure out what is happening. Well, in this case, what is not happening is this one. Isn't it? I'm going to just flash through. What is this? this is, oh, that's that one. <laughs> there we are, now we're on the right stuff. I thought I had. Sorry, but the other stuff in there, but apparently I didn't. Ah, I know where. Is that on here? Yes, on these, right. Yeah, you knew it's just an excuse for me to get into a JCB, didn't you? Anyway, the museum is going ahead quite nicely, and we'll see what this one does. It should change the texture colour, for some reason it isn't. But we'll find out again. I'll come out of the cab again and have a look. This is the high speed one, this is the top of the range uh, JCB of the era. see what it does now. And spin joints you expect good animation and you get it. No it's not changing too high that might be a problem on the textures on there. I'm going to have to have a look in the map and just have a look at the textures. I may just change the grass texture to one I know what it does. But that isn't changing. That is still grass I would say. Right, as I've got to do all that now, I'm going to quit here. Quit here was I'm losing. Uh, we'll take a quick shot of what's going on here. Yeah, yeah get this lot here. <clears throat> so what we're just messing about here and getting a screenshot. I do. I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. If you like this all, please consider leaving a like. Uh, I will investigate this and see if I can find it what's happening maybe just change the grass texture and that will do it uh, if you're not subscribed oh yeah if you like it give it a like if you're not a subscriber feel free to subscribe I bungle my way through uh, this type of thing uh, rather too often for some people <laughs> Uh, remember, Bill, Bill I will, it may all be done by the time you see this, because we'll be seeing it until a couple of weeks after I made it. As such is the way I make videos. 
Right, any comments, questions, queries, or suggestions, feel free to post them. And with that, it's Mayor and Sarah. Cheerio, good night. Cheerio.